let's talk finances a little bit. Okay. okay. So, and I don't care to tell people what we paid for it. So, what was it? It was an absolute auction. No matter if you sold it for a hundred or, or five hundred, you the, it was going to get sold. The court, the court ordered it to be sold. Okay. Yes. So tell me how on the sale you get paid because that's something I don't know. I do have a my, like I went through the process, so okay. I kind of know. So tell me the process of how Dempsey Auction gets paid. There's a lot of different ways. Okay. Like the way this particular sale. Yeah, talk about mine. There was a 10% buyer's premium. Okay. So, you know, we, yeah. and, we, and we advertise that. We don't try to. It's sure. Hidden costs. We sneak in. We advertise. It's a 10% buyer's premium. Explain that. Okay. So what that means is whatever you bid, there's a 10% premium added on top. So if you bid for, for say, numbers 400000 then you know that there's going to be a $40,000 premium for a total purchase price of four forty. dollars mm-hmm. So that's our commission. It's just like a real estate commission of 6% instead of 10%. Yep, and, okay. the, and, the, and the, buyer, the buyer pays that on top. So we announce that, we advertise that, we make sure, sure. everybody knows that. So you, fa- fit, fit, you figure that into your bidding. I mean, right. I don't want you to be surprised in the day and say, well, what's this 10%? I want you to know going in. What what it what it takes to get it bought. Right. And so like the 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 the, the estate, they paid for the, the, the marketing of the property. They paid for the advertising, the signs, the crew, the cleanup. They paid for all the cleanup. They paid for all the advertising. So they paid for the advertising, the expenses of the auction, and then the buyer pays the commission. Out of that commission, we pay our salespeople, we pay anybody outside realtors that are involved, and we pay all that out of our commission over there. Okay, so you talked about briefly with me privately. How much it took to clean that property up? It was a lot. We we hauled, how many dump trucks do you say? I think we hauled twelve dumpsters out of there, and that was that was after some of the family members got a lot of the scrap out of there. There was a lot of scrap. And they, scrap? They, what do you mean? Oh, uh, just metal. They could take scrap metal to the and get so, it. So it, the, 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 the family took some of the scrap out. The girl next door. Yes, the girl next door. She took she took the scrap, a yeah. lot of it, before she took the hot water heater. Before she took the hot water. <laughs> So, you know, it's just like only in America, so man. Listen, only in so America, listen, you sell it and they steal the hot water heater out. I mean, we so we bought this property. Okay, we bought the property. There's auction people there. Yes. There's a hundred people at the auction. Yes. It's so exciting. She is still living in the trailer. There's a trailer that we have turned into a magnificent, place. unbelievable. It's, it's like Lazarus. You brought it back from uh, the dead. We brought it man. back from the dead. From the dead. We had to because it was grandfather. Yeah. It was built in 1970. So, yeah, it made a lot of sense. So, but when she was asked to leave, she took the hot water heater. See, we had never been in the house. I was afraid. I did not want to go in the house because she had those dogs in there. And I, I knew we'd get fleas. I mean, I just really knew. Oh, yeah. And and sometimes fleas are the least of your worries. I have had bed bugs, too, in the, mm. in the houses. So, but, but, you know, I just didn't know what it was like in there. But, but. What y'all did in there is, is unbelievable. But you did you did the right thing by leaving the, the, the trailer there. Well, I, after the the laws and talking to you and just the different laws, I mean, you're we were so close to the water that in order for me to build, I would have had to tear down, which would have been expensive. Yep. But then to build the t- codes or, or the you had to build up and out and and with the health with the environmental health, you did the right thing. Yeah, I that. think we did too. So uh, so you get the place cleaned up. So, but the the state pays the people that that sold it paid all the fees. So if it costs you twelve dump truck loads or twelve loads, they, it's just they spent about they spent about ten grand cleaning it out. So they spent ten thousand. You didn't pay that. Mm-mm. You didn't buy any of the signs. You didn't do any. You they they paid what they what the what I did is I is I made a deal. I made a I, when I sell for the court, I have a set fee. I charge the court, and it's just it's just it's a lower fee than what I charge most. But the court knows that I'm going to do that and then some because the bottom line is the more money it makes, the more you make. more money. It, so I mean, we're an incentive based business. Yeah. So we're not going to shortchange, and I just charge a nominal fee. To you handle charge it. a fee to the you charge a fee to the court or to the to the estate to yeah, the to, estate, yeah. and then we pay the ten percent buyer's fee, and then we pay everything outside of that. That's correct. Who so? But they paid for the dump trucks and the correct. cleanup. No, they, the, the cleanup expense is something totally different. And they paid for all that. They paid for all that. But that's in the order. I mean, in that order, there was an order specific, specifically giving us authorization to clean it up. And you had the you, you did not have to check with anybody on, on the mm. cleanup. No, we we we, well, we talked to the attorneys going into it, and we made them a proposal, and they had the proposal of, of everything we would do and what we suggested. And they made that proposal part of the order, 
And so it was everything was lined out from, from start to finish. Okay. So we knew who was going to close it. We knew what day we were going to sell it. We knew what we were going to spend on cleaning it up. We knew how we were going to market it. And, and the court was well aware of that, as all the parties were too. Okay. So that's that's how y'all make your money. There's a fee on the front end. Okay. So let's say you sell something private. You call the guy in Somerville, for example, right. um, and say it was doing it today. He pay, Johnny, the guy selling the property, pays you a fee. Uh-huh. And then you get a buyer's premium on the back end right. also? So, like, for instance, we had a big cattle farm we were selling last eight, last August. And it was a pretty farm. It was 300-something acres. Oh, 10, wow. 10 miles outside of Rome. I mean, it was a really nice track. Mm-hmm. And there were some guys looking for a cattle farm. And so this family hired us to sell the farm. Well, they called us. They said, can we look at the farm? And I knew they were I knew they were, they were were heavy hitters, and they wanted, to, they wanted to buy something soon. And we showed them the farm, and on a Saturday afternoon, we made a deal on the farm before the auction. Mm. Prior to auction, they made an offer by by law, by any real estate laws where you, you do business, you had to present a legitimate offer to the seller. And we presented it to the seller to sell it. And so we sold it prior to auction. Wow. And that's happening more and more. In the last, since 2020, we've sold more property prior to auction than any time ever before. Could you have sold my, could I have bought my property that way? No. And I'll tell you why, because yeah. it was ordered by the court. So by the court ordering it, mm. both parties had to have a chance to bid on it if they didn't think it was going to bring enough. If 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 Mike's side didn't think it was bringing enough, he could bid on it and make it and, and buy it himself. Mm. If he didn't think and buy his buy his sister in law out. So by when court ordered stuff is really you can't hardly do it. But when it's ordered to sell by at live public auction by court order, you can't hardly get it bought before the sale. Okay, that makes sense. So tell, so let's talk through our the the technicality of our auction because okay. a lot of people when I explain it, a lot of people don't understand it. Okay. So there was two 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 lots. Two lots. You, we bid on the first lot, the bigger right. lot. Right, the big lot. And we won that bid. You bought you bought the big house in the in the, in the acre and a half or two right. acres with the big house. But then you did another auction. We went through the whole the, process again. The second you know, offered on the on the smaller track with the, right. with the mobile home. Yes, the mobile home is small track, maybe the boat ramp and what yeah. have you. And we didn't buy that one. We didn't buy that one. And then we put it back together. Okay, so we so when you up, say put it back together, explain that. We right. offered it. There were two tracks. We sold track one first, then track two. So Thomas owns track one. Johnny owns track two. So then we put track one and two back together. We add what they brought and added 5% raise. In order to bid out either the original bidders, you have to raise it at least 5%. That's the way our business model is. And so somebody, if anybody under the tent or on site could have could bid on that property and take both buy, bidders out and buy it as a whole. So Thomas bought property at property one. Johnny bought property two. <coughs> Susie in the back could have bid and paid. Now, and, and you started it at 5% more. 5% started more started. It. And then it would go up from there. So Susie could have bought it and I could have bid with Susie. Yep. And Susie could have bought it from both of us. Right. That's so right. I could have not gotten anything. That's correct. So what I did is when they were bidding on the second property, let's go back. On the first property, right. I got into a bidding war with that lady down front to the left. That's exactly right. And you were with me and your assistant was with them mm-hmm. and we were going back and forth. <coughs> we won it. Correct. Probably forty or fifty thousand dollars more than what we should have with the bidding war, I think. But we did not bid on the second one. Which was smart. Because I didn't want to drive the price up. Which was smart. So that was smart. So you already bought in. So see, I think you played it. I don't know if you meant to or not, but you played it as well as you could have. Because if you hadn't got involved in the first round of bidding, it would have sold It would have sold for a lot less than it did. And then that would have gotten other people bidding. When we put it back together as a whole. Oh, and see, yeah. See, I love it to start low. I don't like bids to start high. I love them to start low. I'm probably telling too much. But no. the reason I like for it to start low, because there's a buy-in. Once people start bidding, they want to continue to bid. Well, then they're then they're bought into the game. Well, if you y'all are over here bidding and some folks over here bidding over here, well then you are start you're all bidding against each other. Well then you've got to buy in, and then it gets competitive, and then it gets some ego, and then people get excited like don't let them outbid us. And so I love for it to start low. But see what you did was you 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 bought if you just bought the house you were still at a good deal buying sure. the house for that you were fine with that. But by not engaging in the bidding there, participating in that bidding, that sold relatively low. It did. Ninety thousand dollars. I thought it'd be one hundred thirty-five to one hundred forty thousand. It was ninety. I know. And so, but that, but that's because you didn't engage in that. So then, the people didn't know if they would, could end up getting the house or not. They didn't know. So it was, it was kind of a, you know, it worked out well for the estate because it brought more than the appraised value. It brought more than they'd been offered for, mm-hmm. and they were happy with that. Y'all got it for y'all got it for less than you could than you than you could have paid for it oh, had you man. had you engaged in it the other way. Well. <clears throat> 
I was going to bet on the trailer, and Joy, who's my sister-in-law, uh-huh. is extremely wise. She goes, no. She said, because we don't know who is out there, this one I want to put it, uh, who's waiting. Somebody could be, because there was 100 people there. There was, there was a huge crowd there. There was a huge crowd And there. we didn't know in our mind, the game is this, we didn't know in our mind that there's a guy over to the right, a guy behind us, that's waiting to put it all together and bid us out of it. So we had we had we didn't have the house guaranteed, but right. we had we we had, worst case scenario we had the house, they had the trailer, and we could just keep our separate ways. But we also knew that the boat launch was on the other lot, right? And the dock was on the other lot, and right. so we felt like we needed all of it in order to right have a whole property. One thing though that I, I knew for sure. When the price got up to 90-something thousand, I knew it was not going to remain a rough track of land. Yeah. Price, a lot of times, will restrict. If somebody pays that kind of money for something, then they're going to make it into something pretty pretty decent. Sure. And so I knew that, but but the, but Scott Withrow, who gave you that, that that advice, said you need to buy them both. He was spot on when he told you that yeah. because that was a smart that was. A, but but what you did though was you didn't let it be a bargain. You didn't let you didn't let the the big house get stolen. Mm-mm. And so by not letting it get stolen, you protected yourself. Whether you meant yeah. to or not, you did. You, you isolated yourself where people weren't going to slip in there. And, and just, for, I mean, for that kind of money, that's not somebody who's going to make it bite on a whim. Right. So it, it was. It worked out just right. It was exciting. The was whole process, it was, it was a, rush. a rush. I mean, I got video of you sitting there next to me and us buying it. It was, yep. it was, it was incredible. So if you've never been to an auction or bought people, go to an auction. Um, it's a lot of fun, even just watching it. It was a lot of fun, even though I was a participant.